What's up guys, welcome back to Proxima Reviews. We've got a pretty long package here. I'm very excited about this, this is pretty cool. This is a P1977 or P1977. It's just a one shot, it's not an automatic. But from the looks of it, it looked pretty cool. It looked like a, a submachine gun with a holding stock. So we're gonna open this up and let's see what we think about it, All right? Before I forget to mention, I bought this because it was just 580 pesos. That's really cheap for an airsoft gun, I guess. But it's just a single shot, so I guess it's really just cheap. Last time with a Glock 18, we got a hamburger. Today we get a burrito. Mm -hmm. That's what you get for 580, a burrito. So let's open it up and let's see how it goes. Alright, so here we go. This is what we get from our purchase. <laughs> this is what you get. Wow, P1977, P1977. Right, high performance of airsoft gun. Is that soap? Soap montage? <laughs> it looks like soap. Oh my god. Alright. Yeah. So it comes with a handgun. No, I'm just kidding, this is a flashlight. <laughs> don't don't tell me I got you there. Alright. So this is what y'all can get from the Zada at just 580 pesos. You can get your own personal defense weapon type submachine gun with a folding stock. But it's a single fire obviously. Uh, you can get a foregrip, really cheap foregrip, it's really light, but you know, just for the looks, you get that. You get a full round magazine, which is really nice. Some of them just offer a magazine until here, but this one offers a full one. And you get uh, a strap and some pellets. Blue pellets for this one. It is kind of cool, I never had blue pellets before. Alright, so. This is your P1977. I don't think there's a real life gun, a P1977 a P gun in real life. Uh, some people were comparing it to the SCAR, the FN SCAR, because of the front, this part is flat and it has an extended barrel. But to me, I think it's most similar to the KAC PDW, uh, the Knights Armament Company, they're an American company. SCAR, the FN is from Belgium. Um, they make a lot of weapons using the AR style layout, the, the one for the M16 or the M4A1 AR15s. But the cool thing about the real gun of this one is that it has an AR style or probably, I think it's called an SR style because KAC names it the SR, the stoner rifle named after the pioneer of modern American weapons, Eugene Stoner. This has the layout of a stoner rifle for the switches and everything so that the, the military and people who are already familiar with the M16 who are trained to use an M4 could easily just pick this gun up with few to none teaching and could pick it up and use it effectively. But what this was made for was really uh, a concealment weapon for people like, uh, let's say, I guess, undercover agents or maybe some people who have to look casual and not hold 
a large rifle with them, like let's say the President's Secret Service. So they could hide this inside their coat because the stock is foldable, you can see right there. So this really should be like this, that long, this is the stock. But then if you want to conceal it, or for easy carrying, so that it's not too long, you could press that and then fold it. And then this could fit inside somebody's coat or something similar to that. Alright, so my thoughts on this. Wow, I can't believe you can get something like this for just 580 pesos. I mean, I'm gonna try this out for the next day or two and then I'm gonna come back with, the, uh, with what I think about it. But as of now, looking at it, man, it looks so real. It's actually all made of plastic. But really hard plastic and not any type of soft plastic or rubbery plastic so that's good it's really nice i'm very very excited i hope this is good i hope it's strong so some things to say about it that some of you maybe want to know so this part this is how you cock any regular m16 or the ars you pull this part to engage it this is also where you cock this gun for its one cock one shot capability so you just pull this there you go okay don't point it at yourself i don't know if this loaded i'm pretty sure I'm, I'm pretty sure it's not but let's just point it somewhere else then shoot there you go wow <laughs> that's a much stronger spring than my glock 18 airsoft wow all right so this should be where the the bullet shells go out but you know it's closed for this one so this part is where I'm saying that it's probably almost a one-to-one -one replica of the M16 or any AR weapon. This is the safety switch. And then you push this down, for, you push it the other way for, I'm not sure if this is to fire it. I think this is to fire it, you hide the safety and then this points at fire. And then the other one hides the fire and points at safety. So this is also how you do it on the M16 or the M4A1. But this is more of a selector, it can select safe fire, single shot, burst, or even fully automatic. People call it the fun switch, right? This one, I'm not sure what it does. I'm not really sure. This one, also I'm not sure what that does. But I guess this is what we got. This is also the sight, sight of the gun. So there you go. That's where you're gonna look through when you're gonna shoot. Wow. The attention to detail is awesome on this wow look at that i hope the picatinny rails work uh, for this one it does pretty sure there you go so that's how you hold it with the foregrip like that you can't adjust it anymore that's it that's all it does I'm not sure if there's a battery inside this let's try it. oh there look at that oh it's blue it's a blue light so it's not, it's not really a flashlight, it's a blue light. Maybe I could do some stuff to change this bulb, or maybe change the light in here. But it's pretty nice for this one. Okay, you can even put it at the side if you don't want it at the front. Okay, there you go. Let's take it off first. Let's hold it like that. It's really plain. Wow. I've been saying wow for the past few minutes because you know my glove I'll show you my glove I have a video on this actually you can watch it also okay so I'm safety look at that stuff you can buy some replicas you can buy for just this was 450 pesos this is just at approximately 100 580 pesos and you can get stuff like this and you can scare the crap out of someone with this and I do not recommend you doing that. Always tell people what it is and don't just bring it out anywhere. I, I've had a lot more tips on weapon or airsoft safety with my Glock video so you might want to watch that. But then just practice good discipline and have the responsibility to know that what you're holding can possibly fool people and make some people panic or especially the authorities, the police, they might suspect you for 
carrying a deadly weapon with you, so it's you shouldn't risk those things. Don't use it to shoot people out of nowhere or even animals. Let's try to put let's try to put the magazine inside. Let's take out this block first. I know it's pretty, but it's not the star of the show today. Watch my other video. The Glock is also really cool. Let's try to load this in first. There we go. Oh. It's a good height. This is a pretty good height. Stock feels really strong. That was one of the things I was scared of when I bought this, that the stock might be too, uh, you know, too, I don't know, soft or it might not be strong enough to support someone, but it's actually really, really strong. This is a very hard stock. And there's also some um, grid patterns here so that it has more traction for your, for your shoulder. Yeah. As of, as of the moment, it's probably the coolest thing I've seen all week. Now that looks real. <laughs> for quick testing purposes, let's load this thing and let's see what it can do. Oh, this one. This is how you get the magazine out. Okay, this is the release. There you go. So one thing that doesn't come with this is the manual. And probably that's what you get. That's why it's so cheap, you just really get the gun. But that's fine. Good, the good, well, well designed items, well designed products and weapons should be, should be easy to understand and to comprehend. You just, the basic feel of the product, just looking at it, you probably would find out in any way, in one way or another, how to use it. This is one of those products. Very easy to use. You can literally find everything here. Okay, so that's great. And this is how you disengage the magazine. So yeah, it slides out. Okay. So, just go with a few first. Uh, so here we go. Let's put it in. There we go. I hope this is good. I'm gonna use my left hand for now because I lack space here. So first, let's pull this apart, there you go, that's loaded, open the sights, and let's see what we can do. Right. Looking at it now, looking at my target, firing in 3, 2, 1, wow, that's really strong, that was really, really strong. Try it again. Okay. Firing in three, two, and one. Wow. Oh, I'll ricochet it off. There, there you have it. Or P1977. P1977. Call it what you may. Submachine gun size. What one? See that? You can just hold it like that. I don't know if there's a lock. I guess there's a lock. So this is apparently a lock. I don't know if it moves, but that is where you oh you lift it up a bit. Okay, there you go. That's how it stays on there. There you go, you clip it on. There you go. Okay, and you put it back up to open it. There you go. That's what you get. Alright. Cool thing. I'm gonna test fire this a little bit more tonight and tomorrow, and then I'm gonna tell you what I think about it. Hang in there, stay tuned, it's coming up. Alright, so I'm back with my newly purchased P1977 or keep on repeating it P1977 or you may know this style this look as yeah the KAC PTW so call it whatever you want but look at it it's it's really nice it's actually an awesome gun 
and you just get this for 580 pesos so kudos to the seller i don't know how you did it but this is what we got and wow i mean it's been impressing everybody around the house because it looks so real and it's actually designed i mean knights armament company they're really good designers they're 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 up there when it comes to gun design and gun manufacturing they're one of those companies that you can trust and they have a lot of contracts with the military and all that stuff so they're really a top-notch company and the pdw it's like a shortened version of um, probably the m16 or an m4 especially this part with this, the ar style layout or i think they call it the sr stoner rifle layout the sights are here the location of everything is correct the selector switch is correct uh, the, this this part the part that you cock that's how it goes even the magazine looks accurate actually uh, the foregrip I'm not sure where they got this one this design this doesn't really come with the PDW so you can try to take this out first yeah let's look at it this way very simple so this is what you get really including this and it's a pretty weak flashlight actually there's a blue one but it it's fine it it can work ex especially when it's really dark and probably it's good that you have a really weak light but i'm not sure if you can really play competitive airsoft with this because it's just one shot one cock one shot but you can do it because I'll show you in the video later that I tried to rapid fire both of the guns that I recently purchased. I also have another video coming up on a M1911 style handgun. I tried to rapid fire them. That's something I didn't do with a Glock. But you'll see later. What I did. So some comments on this and what do I think about it? First of all, I think it's awesome. 580 pesos, that's so cheap. That's like the price of one of those cheap handguns that you can get but instead of a handgun you get this and you get all of these parts the working parts of it i mean yeah, compare that to a handgun and you even get a stock it's it's that's honestly this is honestly so cheap for that amount of money that's just 580 pesos for something like this wow and it's like some cool you can use it as some cool prop if you're gonna do cosplays or even when you want to shoot a movie you can use this as prop you can make the bad guy use it or even the good guys it's so it's just really cool and i've been experimenting a lot with it i've been thinking of some upgrades you can also connect uh like a belt that's what you call it but something so that you can sling it around your shoulder it comes with one but the one it comes with it's not really that sturdy so i i prefer to just use another one i have here at home that's a little bit stronger than that okay before i comment on the gun some comments on the accessories that it comes with one yeah that one the it's not the the buckles of the strap it's not that sturdy it doesn't look so sturdy it looks like the ones you get on a typical id lace so that could be improved Another one is the pellets. Um, some of the pellets were a little bit damaged, but some of the bullets are, but not all of them. And I just, I prefer to just buy your own bullets, your own pellets that are, that are better, that were made better. Uh, at least that's, that's gonna be your, pretty much your only problem. You just need better pellets and it's very cheap to buy those and you can buy those in a lot of places. About the gun, it works perfectly as what it's described to be a one cock one shot gun so you just pull this like a uh, traditional AR rifle and then that what cocks the spring mechanism inside and loads the pellet inside and then shoots it and I've noticed that it's a lot stronger than my handguns I mean a lot stronger and it's also a lot louder but it's a lot stronger and I think it has more range than my handguns probably because the travel of the spring is longer and also it has a longer barrel I've had so much fun playing with this around the house trying to 
make some makeshift targets and they're pretty accurate if you can find a good way to position the site. With that comes another of my comments. The sites are actually very decent. Um, it's the same as the real one. However, for the real one, this part should travel along the rail. That's how you adjust where this site aligns with this one. But with this one, it doesn't happen. That means looking at this piece and then at this piece and then to your target gives you an inaccurate shot. It's not accurate. So I suggest you just buy your own site for this, like maybe a red dot or an iron site that can travel on top of a Picatinny rail. And then that's what you use to look at your target as or as your iron site or as your advanced site. But what what you can do with this is if you could kind of estimate how straight it is by just looking at this rail over here and then there's a middle cut here and then you could just slightly angle this a bit downwards just make it lie down and then when you look at it you're gonna kind of see a crown it's more accurate that way because it's a lot closer to the barrel than it is when this is up here because when this is up here you're looking really really high up but when it's over here it's kind of a lot closer to the barrel so you get a little bit more precise shots with that not probably still not the most accurate but at least you're gonna have a better chance of hitting your target especially if it's not that small with the build quality it it has an excellent build quality i mean yeah it's plastic so just don't drop it at a at a like significant height and stuff might break but it's built pretty well. It's it's actually heavy enough to be to like fool yourself that it's like a real firearm or something like that. Uh, no part of the exterior is made of steel, so it's not gonna feel like a real one. But you know, would you complain? You're just spending 580 on this. Uh, I wouldn't. To me, it 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 looks the fit. It looks like the real one. And you can actually mistake it for the real one, so please don't scare people with this. Or don't bring it out on places that you're not supposed to be bring it, bringing it out. I suggest you just keep it at home. If you're gonna use it for airsoft, don't bring it out unless you're there in the competition. I have a lot more tips in my Glock video, so you might want to watch that if you're a, a new airsoft player. I kind of spoke about how to be responsible with a firearm or even a replica firearm so that you're always safe and that the people around you don't get annoyed when you're using one of these so go check that out the stock i was kind of scared at first that the stock might be made of really weak plastic that it would just crumble and break apart if it's used so much or when it's not taken care of but actually this stock is really really hard it's pretty hard stock the plastic it's kind, it's kind of thick on this one Therefore, I'm really not scared about it. You can actually beat it up. Yeah, so this one, it, it goes into there. That's how you make it stay. So you press it here, press it over here, and fold it, and then hook it there. That's how it doesn't fall off. So yes, it actually has that lock. Pretty cool, huh? And another thing about the stock is it has this uh, meat grinder grid pattern, and it's it's not the most comfort comfort it's not the most comfortable thing for your shoulder but it's good because it keeps it in position and it doesn't slide around your shoulder probably you could try to find some rubber uh, stock guards that you can find there are some made for stocks like this this feels a little bit cheaper though the the foregrip it's really really light plastic and i think it's just hollow and it doesn't match the complexion of the whole gun it's kind of a little bit less shiny than the others and it actually looks more like plastic when you look like when you look at it but not so, so much not too much to complain about on that one for the um do you call this? for the magazine this is the magazine release there isn't a magazine release on the other side so it's not ambidextrous but if you could um 
that out and you're fine with just using your right hand to open it then yeah you got that it looks like the real magazine and when you put it on it really feels like you're putting a real magazine in so that's kind of cool um you could see the pellets here and you could load it one by one here on top but you could also put a lot of the pellets here and then there's a hole somewhere here that when you put this down and shake it a bit it's gonna it's gonna load the pellets inside this this chamber right here but the problem with that it is if you want to be stealthy when you play it's gonna or if you wanna if you don't want uh, pellet noises like you know if you don't want to be running around and hearing this then just stick to 20 that's that's how you're gonna make it feel like a real magazine but if you're in it to just keep on shooting it you could put like hundreds inside here and then every time you run out of bullets just take it out um, pull this spring down and then start shaking it and then it's just gonna refill by itself one comment I have though is every time you place the magazine in it's gonna release a pellet inside so because I released that that means there's a pellet that's just gonna fall out so sometimes when I take it out if it's not fully empty yet one is gonna fall out so if you don't mind that if you can overlook that then that's that's what you get for oh, there one fell inside oh, see so noisy but if you can overlook that then oh three fell inside okay so I'll, I'll get that later okay aside from all that it's a very accurate gun it it looks the part it feels good and i enjoyed it very very much this past couple of days two days i've been shooting it i've been trying to knock out my paper target and i can really feel that this is a pretty strong one and i'm very impressed at how it was built i am so amazed and i hope i could find more products like this because come on it's so cool and i just love shooting this stuff at home so this is the p 1977 P1977 call it what you may KACPDW style I tried some rapid fire testing on this one and you could kinda shoot it the way you'd shoot a bot action sniper rifle and uh, it's actually pretty good it's a good fire rate it's not so hard to cock it even at a fast pace so if you're looking to do that if you're gonna do some target shooting on some moving targets or if you're gonna be the one moving and you're gonna use this that's gonna be pretty doable because it's really not hard to cop it, the spring it's not that heavy it's uh, medium to heavy not on the heavy side though more on the mid side so as long as you have a good grip on the front of the rifle and the stock is on your shoulder if you you can cock it with your trigger hand if you want to cock it really fast you can keep your trigger hand here and then use your left hand to cock it every time so yes overall I am very very impressed and very satisfied with this buy and I hope I could find more of these stuff or maybe an automatic one of these days that's really cheap because I, I want the cheap ones because I want to see how far they can push it when it comes to these cheap products and of course why would we spend so much on these kinds of things when there are more important things to spend our money on but that doesn't mean we should take away the luxury of enjoying simple stuff like this which we can get our hands on for just a small price and enjoy ourselves my whole family is actually enjoying it i've let them try it and they've been shooting my targets and we're having fun and to me that's very important and that's a good thing to have in life so yes i'm very happy with this product and i'm glad i bought it so thank you for watching guys this is another review by proxima reviews please like this video if you liked it and please click the notification bell if you wanna be informed if i have new videos on the cool stuff i buy and most of them are cheap stuff you know i have some tech reviews coming up next and I'm just waiting for the products to come and the other products i'm starting to 
feeling my reviews on them already. I've also have another airsoft gun coming up. This one, uh, XK918 with a laser. This one has the M1911 style layout designed by the legendary John Browning. So this is from Eugene Stoner and then another legendary gun designer to John Browning uh, it keeps on coming and I love it and I love the history of these guns and I actually know a lot about them so the more joy it adds to owning them especially for just 580 pesos so thank you so much guys for watching please subscribe to my channel for more of these and I'll see you next time